Hello everyone, my name is Alexander and today we are talking about wheels. As probably most of you know, uh, besides frames, wheel set in road cycling are one of the most important things. In mountain biking you also take a look on the forks because those are the uh, heaviest uh, parts on your bike. But it's not all about the weight. If you're watching pro cycling races through the France or some local UCI race, you will notice that uh, there are two major types of the wheels, climbing wheels and air wheels. For a couple of years now, uh, science has uh, proven that the weight of the wheels is not that much important. I'll go back on mountain bike wheels a little bit later, but in road cycling, road races are like that. When you start, you go, you don't stop uh, pretty much never, only if something happens. So biggest uh, resistance you will have is from the air you are going through. And that's why on the most of the road races you will see those deep section wheels, which are uh, made to be much more aerodynamic, which means they will push less air through, so they'll have more resistance and spin faster. Climbing wheels on the other side are thinner and lighter. That doesn't have to do anything with aerodynamics. They are meant to be light. And light just because when you're on climbing races and uh, there are many attacks and that weight in that uh, moment matters to you because there are many moments when you're going slowly and then you need to accelerate fast and the speeds are much less so you don't care that much about aerodynamics of course they are the matter over there also but not that much as i told you because speeds are at least uh, double less in mountain biking as you probably know there are no air wheels there are small differences here we have this shimano xtr pretty light wheel it's made of a combination of aluminium and the carbon layers and uh, you will notice that it's pretty standard uh, section wheels. You have maybe some row wheels, I'm not sure, but uh, most of the wheels are this, uh, this depth. In mountain biking you always stop, accelerate many corners and in those speeds, aerodynamics really, you, you know that we don't wear air helmets, we don't care about aero that much. Next point is strength. Well, that's a really, really big topic. Uh, from my experience, what I've noticed that, uh, of course, carbon wheels are stiffer than iron wheels, but uh, it all comes also to the spokes and hubs also matter in that. So there is not universal uh, answer, but uh, I can say that uh, from my experience, shallower wheels are more stiffer because they are just more tightened when uh, you have those deep section wheels those uh, walls can get a little bit flimsy so maybe that's contradictory but shallower wheels are more responsive and that's one of the reasons why uh, are they also being used on climbing stages so which wheels uh, should you buy first of all carbon versus aluminium about aerodynamics and all that stuff they are you can get both the same aluminium clincher stabulars also as the carbon ones from my experience uh, and uh, if you are not pro pro level you don't have a bunch of carbon wheels definitely go for aluminium wheels for most of the races i'm also racing on road with aluminium wheels and i have uh, only sometimes carbon wheels because we don't have that much money I have these XTR wheels, but I'm training on my XT wheels, which are fully aluminium. They are much more durable, they are stiffer, stronger. Yes, um, heavier wheels will be more durable I mean, most of the time, because more material and they are more abusive. So that's one of the reasons. Second thing, should you go with uh, deep or shallow wheels? Well, if you are just all around cyclist, go with some normal shallow wheels i don't have over here to show you but on my road bike for my trainings i use shimano ultegra which are also very good for racing so 
There are many, many wheels like that. Uh, I won't uh, tell you the models. In many years, they are coming much more. But for training and sometimes racing, definitely go with aluminum wheels. Don't go with tubeless, don't go with tabular. That's just too expensive. And if something happens on your training, you probably don't have solution at that point. About BMX wheels, I'm still running 180s, so I really don't know nothing about BMX wheels. That's been all about wheels, I can tell you. I hope this helped you. If you have any further questions, please post them down below. Like, share, subscribe and see you in another video.